happens when you raise a generation on participation trophies and being told they're unique. Some people will genuinely believe they are. What happens when they grow up to realize they're treated just the same as everyone else? They'll ask for special treatment. What happens when you pander to their complaints and bend to their will? They'll ask for more special treatment. As Ashton Daniel is about to show us in a marvelous display of entitlement and ignorance. So grab your textbooks and prepare your anus. It's time to get lectured. Hi, I'm Ashton. The pronouns that I use are he, him. This is lesson number one, Ashton. Only dickheads introduce themselves with their pronouns. You may get along with those dickheads, in which case use it as a sign that you're gonna be friends for life, or at least until one of you grows the fuck up. And you have already made it painfully obvious that you are a girl who dresses like a boy with that fucking haircut. What is it with that? Why do all the female trans trenders have that hair? I used to introduce this by saying that my preferred pronouns are he, him, but I realized quickly that they aren't just something I prefer. Well, they are. I mean, they're not actually your pronouns, are they? You change them, or rather, you're forever in the process of trying to convince other people they're different. Funny how other people should make the effort when you can't even be asked to lower the pitch of your voice, though, isn't it? When cisgender people, you know, exist. Oh, fucking hell. I was really trying hard to like this one. Oh, well, what can you do? If they're a little bitch, they're a little bitch, aren't they? Complain aimlessly about the people you want to give you special treatment. Brilliant tactic, Ashton. Way to fucking sell it, mate. They generally have a fairly easy time passing, as we say, and they never really have to introduce themselves with pronouns. No one has to do that, you dumbass. It's just you paving the way to get offended by someone's speech. The moment you stop giving such a shit about pronouns, you will sail through life, my girl. You'll wonder why you cared so much about them in the first place. But if someone were to misgender them, they wouldn't say my preferred pronouns are. They likely just state that they're a boy or a girl or whichever binary they... You had it with boy or girl. That was it. Done. Fully explained. What the fuck was the rest about? Have you made such a mess of gender that it completely bamboozles you when you try to talk about it? Because that would make sense. There are more genders than fucking people right now. So why should I have to state my preferred pronouns? Because you're a girl who wants people to refer to you as a boy. If you're not going to make the effort to look like one besides the fucking standard Milo Stewart hairdo, then you're going to have to introduce yourself as one. And don't be surprised if you get weird looks or flat refusal. You aren't owed anything by anyone and you're being a dick about it. Why do people ask what my preferred pronouns are when they're just trying to be polite? Because they're just trying to be polite. You just fucking said it. They probably don't care. Asking your pronouns will only benefit you. The person asking for them doesn't get anything out of it. If anything, they now have to make more of an effort to converse with you. And frankly, you just don't seem worth it. I think the reason roots in people wanting to be agreeable. Trans people are constantly made the butt of the joke in society, discriminated against, denied basic rights, and ultimately killed. Yeah, trans people. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about you lot. You aren't trans, and you don't seem to want to be people either. You don't get denied shit. You probably get more people bending over backwards for you because they know you'll throw a tantrum if they don't. I, for one, though, appreciate a good tantrum, so carry on. We often tone ourselves down because we feel so uncomfortable, so unsafe so attacked by just existing. No, no, Ashton, there is no we. Look, you can identify as whatever you want. It doesn't make you that thing. Have you ever seen those fuckers who spend tens of thousands of dollars on making themselves look like a cat? They are closer to being a cat than you are to being transgender. And who identifies as trans anyway? You go from a man to a woman or vice versa. You don't purchase some fucking real estate in between. Therefore, I do notice a lot of trans people being softer, you know? It's common to hear a trans or non-binary person say, hey, my preferred pronouns are such and such, he, him, they, them. Well, think about it. You have no control over how someone refers to you. So if you're a dick about it, chances are they're not going to call you Z or Z or hermaphrodite stab vest or whatever combination of letters and sounds you choose. You are essentially asking for a favor every time you talk to someone and you can't demand a favor. 
it's less common for us to state, call me he him, or call me a air. Right, if I just met you in a pub, okay, and I've never seen you before in my life, I'd, well, I'd be wondering what the fuck kind of establishment I'd wandered into for a start, and you said to me, call me a air. I'd think you were telling me your name, and I'd shrug it off like, all right, maybe it's Irish. Whereas, if you'd said my preferred pronouns are a air, I'd know there's no good conversation to be had here and wouldn't talk to you for the rest of the fucking night. I think it's due to our fear that we feel like we need to be agreeable and fit into cis people's standards of how trans people should be, which we all know we shouldn't have to do. Fucking hell, you're one step away from blaming like white people, aren't you? This is such up in the clouds, airy fairy bullshit. You're not trans. You're going through a fucking phase for which, quite frankly, I blame the internet. This middle of the road crap didn't exist when I was younger. Defining my own pronouns as a preference gives cis people the excuse not to use them. I don't need an excuse not to use them. Why would I need to be excused from something which is in no way an obligation? And try to make it an obligation. I fucking dare you. That shit will just never wash. There are more cunts like me in the world than there are snowflakes like you. They are preferred pronouns because that is what you would prefer to be referred as, yeah? When talking to you, you are referred to as you. So your pronouns are for when people are talking about you, which again, you have no fucking control over. The word preferred implies that it's still okay to call me she, her. That I'd rather just go with he, him. Why? What happens if someone does that? Do you come out in a rash? Do you melt? Do you get reminded you're not undergoing, nor have you ever undergone any transition at all and are actually just a bit tomboyish? I'd like to see all of these. I'm fine with whatever. There's a difference between preferring not to eat fish and having a deathly allergy to seafood. Ashton, you had better have just changed the subject to seafood restaurants because if that was an analogy, you have just proven every ribbon behind you was won in some kind of who is most retarded competition. If that's an analogy that makes sense. Oh no, it was Fucking hell, you don't die if someone refers to you as her. You're not allergic to the vibrations it makes through the air. It's a fucking terrible analogy. There are no consequences to you being called she besides you throwing your fucking toys out of the pram. It's a preference, not a life and death situation. Fucking hell, I haven't heard such a piss poor argument since the US election. Calling me he him isn't just something I like. It's a way that people can treat me with basic respect and decency. Why do you deserve that when you can't give it to anyone else? Why should everyone else change their mental process just so you can go without a minor peeve? And respect is earned. How the fuck am I supposed to respect someone who says call me Zer? It's just not happening, love. That's like an instant disqualification. There are people that will apologize for misgendering a cat and never do it again. But ultimately, it doesn't affect anything, does it? It's still a cat, and the cat doesn't fucking care. They apologize to the owner. Be more like the cat, and less of a pussy. But when someone asks politely to be referred to as they, them, the same person will scoff and lecture them on the two genders bullshit. Well, when you refer to it as bullshit, can you blame them? You are obviously uneducated on the subject, and they have every right to scoff and refuse. Language is for communicating and you are really muddy in the waters with this pronoun fuckery. What is so good about you that you deserve a mental checkpoint set up in everyone's heads? Those are the kind of people that we often make ourselves timid around. I guess what I'm trying to say is that cis people just have pronouns, yet trans people always seem to have preferred pronouns. Because they aren't your fucking pronouns! They are the fucking pronouns you fucking prefer! You don't get to change what you were born as, at least not without some serious medical intervention! You can't identify as a fucking wheelchair and then everyone has to acknowledge that you're a wheelchair! Deluded, maybe, but not a wheelchair! Why not identify as a fish and see if you can breathe underwater? Why is what we want to be called a preference when for you it's just a commonplace? You just said want! You just fucking said it! Wanting and having are two very different things! How do you not fucking understand that? Are we this spoiled in the West? Are we this used to being told yes? 
Why do you respect a cat's gender and not mine? Because in that example, they got the cat's gender wrong. The cat didn't make up its own fucking gender and expect the world to make room for them. I wouldn't be surprised though. Cats are assholes. I've been out as a trans boy for three years now. You're not a trans boy. You're a girl in a baggy t-shirt. And what is this coming out, bollocks? You don't come out as a gender. Stop being so fucking ridiculous. And you know, if you're so new to being male, then how about you shut the fuck up? up with the lecture. I've been male my whole life. I'm not gonna listen to some noob. And I will no longer cater to cis people by telling them that he, him, his are preferred. They're my pronouns just the same as yours or yours. No, they're not. They're your preferred pronouns. And this is a sure way to get people to refer to you as that stuck up bitch. And how the fuck have you been catering to cis people by calling them preferred pronouns? You're asking them to take extra care when talking to you. That's not catering. Catering, that's taking the fucking piss. Me being trans doesn't give cis people the right to decide the validity of my gender for me. That's true. All except the part about you being trans. However, you can't control how someone else sees you. So maybe stop trying to condition everyone else and sort out your own fucked up existence. And maybe put on some foundation, yeah? You look like an Aesian. It doesn't give them the right to deny me basic respect that they would give to anyone else. Oh, you are so wrong there. Respect can be denied for whatever fucking reason you want. You don't have a right to be respected. It's a privilege. I can't believe we've gone so long with no one saying that word. It seems odd, doesn't it? Normally, it would have come up like 10 times by now. If you're trans, non-binary, gender, queer, demigender, anything other than cis, I encourage you to do the same. Yeah, because fuck those people who don't base their self-worth on how others perceive them. They're confident enough already. Of course, I am all for gender self-determination and if you're more comfortable saying what you prefer to be called go for it awesome ashton daniel queen of gender allows the scummy little proles to use the word preferred if they so wish it's the fucking cis bastards who better watch what they say otherwise it's off with their head in some cases it may be helpful in some cases it may be safer are you really trying to tell me your non-binary all have the same haircut lot get beat up for your pronouns the only way i could believe that is if it was genuine transsexuals doing it because man they really really can't like you very much, can they? I imagine the same kind of anger from when it turned out Rachel Dolezal wasn't black, but that's just me. Just be aware that calling your pronouns a preference may come off as a weakness and it may be used as an excuse if people misgender you. You really want to bring up looking weak? You've been bitching about pronouns like they're more important than oxygen. You go on and on and on about the use of the word preferred and then warn others about looking weak? Ala on an aeroplane, how are you that fucking dense? Your pronouns are just as important as any cis person's, and they should be treated as such. So, not important at all then. A very minuscule part of our existence that has no bearing on our self-worth. That'd be nice, Ashton. Get working on that. Don't soften who you are for the comfort of others. Of course not. Expect others to soften for your own comfort, right? Get that sun revolving around you. If you must, do it for your own safety, but don't let that get to your head. Is that really a danger? I mean, what's in your head that could get damaged by any of that, Ashton? Two dead moths and a stack of old pizza boxes? I think we can risk them. Calling you by whichever pronouns you like is just a form of basic decency. Basic decency is wiping your ass after taking a shit. What you're talking about is special treatment, and I think you've had quite enough of that already. And anyone that wants to go against that is simply disrespecting you. Happens all the time and is only fatal in cases of insulting the leader of a street gang. Respect is something given to you by your peers, not every fucker who is unlucky enough to be around you, unless you are the leader of that that street gang. All of that being said, my name is Ashton. Call me he him. I'm about to call you a fucking psychiatrist, love. This is what happens when you focus on one thing so much, like gender. You become absolutely fucking oblivious to everything else. Honestly, I'm surprised she got through this video without forgetting how to breathe or something. But then I'm sure she doesn't see it as respiration, rather a collection of preferred gases. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron to support this channel and stop me from doing these godforsaken videos for nothing. The link is in the description. And remember, stating your pronouns is like showing off photos of your kids. No one fucking cares.